Hey everyone, my name is Alex and in today's video we're going to talk about the pursuit of money and the pursuit of happiness. Is it possible? I mean, one is happiness, right? Can we actually be happy on a day-to-day -day basis or is it something that we have to kind of chase, right? Is it something that, that it's, it's elusive to us? Same thing with money. Is, is money something that we can just have or is it something that we always have to be chasing so these people like disregarding people who um, have inherited um, a bunch of money because they're just rich right they're, they just have it and well if they decide to chase it or not then that's a different story but for those who are always well everyone everyone's working right and it seems that we're always chasing the next thing so be it the next paycheck be it the next raise be it the next client be it the next whatever so how do we relate the pursuit of happiness and pursuit of money so that when we do pursue money we're able to actually be happy about it okay because if we're if people are starting to talk about this more and more and i find it really fascinating as a subject is can we look for happiness and not get uh, and i'm and, and not get money or can can we look for money and actually be okay with not getting happiness. Well, personally, my, my opinion is that no, you can't look for happiness and lose money. And you can't look for money or chase money and lose happiness. And that's why I think that it's so important that the two come together. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to bring things from both sides together. So in my life, I've started with pursuing money and then slowly but surely I got closer and closer to actually just pursuing what makes me happy. And it wasn't really easy to do that because a lot of it was, um, a lot of that journey was, was covered in, in self-doubt because when I was chasing money, I wasn't happy, right? I, I was, I was doing client services. I didn't really enjoy it. It was just like, I was doing it for the paycheck, the paycheck would come, I would be happy during that like short period of time, like for an hour or two later. And then the next day I would feel completely down again, like, okay, I need, I need to go chase the money again. But now I had a bunch of work to do and all these things, right? We all have work to do, but if the work doesn't make me happy, then I'm, I'm just not happy, <laughs> clearly. But I mean, I'm not happy about it. So how can we, bring money and happiness and put it on the same path and if you're still trying to figure out your life which probably 95 percent of us are well how can we how can we pick something right if it's a career path if it's a program we're going into or if it's just a, a general life kind of goal thing how can we make sure that getting to that goal is going to make us happy right the journey is going to make us happy and also getting there is going to make us happy. Okay? So here here are my here's my insight on this, okay? The only way that you can actually take happiness and money and put them on the same path, like align them so that you can go on that path and get both at the same time is if you do something that has to do with your passion. Now, your passion is if you look at the dictionary of passion, it's well the the feeling of of it's an emotion right it's a, it's a feeling of it's like ah right that's how i describe it that's how i describe like passion but is passion the only vehicle to becoming more happy and more rich at the same time well i think the only way that you can actually find your passion and actually be on the path of your passion is if you align that with something else, okay? And it, everything in life should start with this. It shouldn't start with the salary, it shouldn't start with other people's opinions, it shouldn't start with the path that you're already on. It should always start with this, this thing called purpose. And purpose in itself is also an idea that's kind of elusive to some people because people think that they have to find their purpose and and they're on this lifelong journey to find your purpose. When for a lot of you, finding your purpose is as simple as just, you know, 
taking a breather and, and just thinking for a little bit about what makes you happy. So see how we're aligning everything. We're aligning money, we're aligning happiness, we're aligning passion, and we're aligning purpose. And the, the way you align all of those, you start with purpose, right? And then once you have your purpose, okay, your purpose is usually something about like other people. Like how can you help other people in the way that makes you happy? Some people like um, like helping the poor, some people like like speaking, some people like listening, some people like writing. It starts with something really simple and also what is the mission behind it? I mean what is the 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 the, the vehicle the the vehicle is, is, is the way you're gonna help them. But the, the, the actual way that you're going to help them is what makes you happy from it. Okay? So, for example, a psychologist likes listening to people, right? They get happiness, or hopefully the happy psychologist, they get happiness from discovering the mind of somebody else and actually helping them in the best way that they can. And so that's actually a career path that I actually was going to go into before I got into business. So I still find it really, really interesting. And I don't know if I, I'd, I'd do the, the research aspect of it and all the things that, that need to be done to become a psychologist, but I think that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's fascinating. Speakers, like motivational speakers like Tony Robbins, are able to communicate powerfully in a way that helps other people. So his purpose in itself, just talking about Tony Robbins, the, Tony Robbins' purpose is to well help people with their life so relationship coaching and all that and that's a vehicle right the speaking the one-on-one -on -one coaching all this stuff so that's how you have to think about it right who do you want to help and what is the best way that you can help them with right so the vehicle and also the person you want to help so once you have the purpose you move on to the passion so the passion is well, what, 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 can, what do you think can like spring you out of bed and, and, and put, put you in a state of, of energy, right? So you already have an idea about who you want to help, how you want to help them, or it's just a food for thought, right? And the passion is, well, what are you actually going to do, right? What is it that you're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis that is going to allow you to fulfill your purpose, but also feel super awesome about yourself, okay? So that's the passion. The passion is that. <laughs> so next is the um, is money, right? So how can you monetize that passion? Once you have that passion in mind, well, your monetization of that passion is allowing the passion, the doing, the what you're doing every day to actually pay you. So you have to think about types of offers that you can offer the, the market so that you can actually get paid for it, okay? And it's as simple as that. There's no way to complicate it more than that. Once you already know kind of how you can help, just figure out how you can get paid for it. So it might be packages, it might be um, like trading your time for money, maybe you're gonna join an organization that's gonna allow you to uh, do your passion and fulfill your purpose, okay? So that's, that's the money aspect. So right now we have all three aligned. So how do we add happiness to it? How do we make sure that you're happy? Well, happiness is a byproduct of everything else. Okay, we can add relationships, we can add, um, but at the end of the day, it's what you do every day that makes you happy or not. Okay, we can add mindset, right? But usually, by doing the right things, your mind is going to also align with it and actually be happy because once you're actually doing your purpose, you're living your passion and you're doing work that, that, that you enjoy, well, happiness is almost in inevitable. Just because you can think about the fact that you've everything you've accomplished and what, where you're going and who you're with and what you're working at and okay, so you get those, you get those that that all that right. But maybe you're asking like Alex, how how can I do all this? And I'm I'm so I'm either in a, I'm in school or I'm at work right now, and it's it's difficult for me to kind of like put all those things together right now because it seems so big, right? I can think about all of it theoretically. But how can I actually put everything together? Well, it starts with, like I said, the purpose. Just for the, first of all, figure that out. And then once you have everything figured out, it, you're at the point where, okay, you need to take action, right? You need, what's the first step? Well, I do this thing called reverse engineering, 
where you actually put down your short-term, medium, and long-term goals on a piece of paper. And the short-term goals can be um, like, what do you want to do in the next seven days? Okay. Medium-term goals could be, what do you want to do in the next few months, like one to three months? And long-term is, what do you want to do in, in the next one to two years? Okay. And people like put, to put five-year plans. I think that's way too, like the five years, I have no idea what's going to happen in five years. So my long-term goal is, is one, one to two years. So once you have that, you reverse engineer it. So the way you reverse engineer it is very simple. You take the, the, final, the final kind of goal, right? And then you ask yourself, if I can do anything, how can I accomplish that goal in the fastest way possible? So then you write that. So let's say it's um, to make a million dollars. Well, to make a million dollars, you got to sell a lot of things, right? Or you got to work at a very high paying job. So that could be your, your, your top goal, make a million dollars. And then you, you put the next goal, right? Get a high paying job. Okay. And then how do you get a high paying job? Well, I'd have to, well, talk to the right person or, or um, get really good grades and apply to a bunch or start my own business or something like that. And then you write what it is for you. Okay, you get the idea and then it's like, okay, but how do I do that? And then you write the next thing. It's like, okay, but how do I do that? You write the next thing. And then you boil it down until you get to your medium term goal. Okay, and then it's like, okay, I have to do this. This is my medium term goal. And you boil it down even more to your short term goal and then boom, what do I have to do next? Okay, so that's really what it is. That's how you, you really align all those things and you allow yourself to actually take the first step in the right direction for your life. So that's really it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, share with a friend. If you felt this was helpful, share with a friend. Um, and if you just enjoyed it for yourself, well, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.